Hi friends, what's this TTK bootstrap window? We are continuing our uh, series on this TTK bootstrap, different different components and backgrounds and all. So here is a button, once I click this, I will get a color chooser. So I can choose whatever the color I want, I will pick up a color here, click OK. Now this color, the button will have the same color, I mean the foreground or the font color of this label is changed and here is the our RGB value even we can print the hex code also and even we can change the background color of this window also we'll learn all about this we'll start from here this is our blank template we are importing first the bootstrap then some constants we are importing here because we'll be using the color names and all so then we are importing our color to the dialog box from the dialogs library so here it is and then we are using our parent window declaring my underscore w and then the width and the height we are declaring here for our parent window now we, to this we will add our color chooser so for that we will say cd equal to color chooser dialog so here it is we are declaring it now we will use it we will place a button here and on click of that button this dialog box will open up so that then we can uh, user can select it so for that we will start with b1 it's a button uh, ttk button my parent window is my underscore w now the text some text we are writing over it we are saying that select color you can write whatever you want now boot style we are giving a boot style to this equal to initially okay we are because we have imported at line number two the constant so you will directly will write the color name success you can give info here is a list is available and out of this list you can select any one so command sorry command on click what will happen to this Co command equal to lambda we are executing a function so that function name i am saying as my so so here it is now my so i have not defined it i will define it now so before that let's place it on a grid b1 dot grid row equal to equal zero and column equal to zero this is the first component so i am giving it zero zero now slightly i am not flushing it to the left edge pad x is 20 so i am giving pad x and similarly from the top also i am giving a gap of 20 so that's all my button is placed now in this let me add this because on click of this button my show will uh, function will be executed so that for that define my show now here i am now inside this function uh, what i will i will execute the method so so the dialog box will open cd is the just at line number eight above we are declare it i am saying so now this is this will open the dialog box so uh, sorry the color chooser box so i'll write it display the or window you can call it cd this is fine now what is the user has selected that how i'll pick up okay i'm giving the variable name as colors is object equal to cd dot result now this will hold the value this is a tuple so now th all this inside this cd colors i can display print it let's print to the console so for that let me say print now i'll initially we'll print it first colors uh dot hex this is the hex values then next colors dot rgb red green blue rgb this is the rgb values and then hsl the so these three values we will print it to our console so that is the output we will get it i may have to okay let's just i'll save this run running here is my color button has come up select the color i click it whatever i have here it is now i'll select this click okay you can see at the bottom the hex value then the rgb value then hsl value is displayed here instead of printing the colors to the console let's change the background color of the window so i am commented this particular line to print it now i am saying my underscore w this is my parent window you can 
whatever name you have selected you can use it now for that i'll say configure so i can any parameter i can configure so based on that now wh what i am configuring is background so this background i am assigning it to colors dot hex so now this particular once the user selects that that color based on the selection this particular background color of the window will change now let's just see that here it is i am picked up now let me just put a red color you can see the background has changed to red now let's just change it to something else also this will change now let's add some style to it so we can different color we can assign to the button also so for that we'll say declare the style equal to ttk dot style now configure so this style i am configuring i am giving the assigning the t button this class i am using now for this button i am using now what i am doing initially i am giving some style to it so back, background this background equal to let's put it as green then i am saying what should be the foreground foreground is let's give it as white you can give as assign the hex code also so foreground is white now let me just give some font because font i can also change it i can go for the whatever your favorite family you can use i am using times then times then uh, let me say size is 20 N next the style i am not using but i will use it while configuring so this that's all my style configuration is over now this i will assign it to the my button here so this button you can see here i will this color i will remove and here what i will say style mm, style equal to t button comma i should not forget fine so this is how i it is now once i open this this will be uh, okay this button will take this particular colors all this so let's just see that how this looks it should okay you can see here slightly font is bigger and this is there is no no just normal no underline or bold italic any nothing i have given so here it is now okay this will particularly it is still configured to background so i can change the background but that is not is that is not what our intention is so what we will do will comment this line so we are not going to change any background of the window now in once the button is clicked what we will do is again we will change the style configure or before that let me just copy up to this point paste it here now what i am going to do i think i may have to remove all this fine so it has come here now some changes i will do now in here instead of green giving the background color i will say colors hex so now whatever the user has selected that will be picked up and used as a background so foreground let it be white and here font i am slightly i am changing to get a difference here i will say underline if, if you want you can use italic or bold the style whatever you want i just saved it fine that's all the code i just saved it let's see how this works here i am i will pick up now let me just come here click ok see how the button color has changed now let me change again now let me select some other color this thing now we'll next we'll move and change two labels we'll uh, we'll use and background of one label and foreground or the font of the other will change we'll add two more style configuration because labels will be using so i'll just copy this paste it here one more paste it so here instead of button we'll use t label this background we are keeping it as blue then uh, whatever color you want you keep it not a 
problem for foreground times okay let's just slightly change it or whatever family you want you can use that one also so that is this is one and uh, sorry the color dialog why so many times we have i am just removing once only we'll declare it here it is i got copied that okay now this one particularly i'll copy this instead of using this i am pasting it here here what i will do in t label i will say custom one now this background i will change it to gray foreground uh, let's give it green whatever font is uh, okay we'll remove it whatever default font it takes let it take so we'll not place any font here so this these are two for our labels we have label sorry n not we'll use label custom e e l why this n has come okay here it is not required not required fine so this two we'll assign it to two labels what we'll do below this button will uh, will add two labels here l1 equal to ttk dot label my underscore w my parent window text equal to what you will do will print the hex code of the whatever the color is selected that will print it so what you will write it is hex here the text itself will change now the style here the, I am giving the style is uh, the first one. I'll say custom one dot t. Let me just check up what I have written. Okay, fine. So uh, here, sorry, e I will remove custom one custom t label. Fine. So this is this has come. Now let me place it on a grid. L one dot grid wrote it is uh, now while placing this uh, i'm taking it to the next because my first row was zero so i'm saying row one so next row it has gone column equal to zero now slightly pad x i'm giving 10. okay now this uh, one more i want so i'll just copy this paste it here so this is this i will give first as l2 l2 now row same and column is one so right of the first one i am giving it here so here you can say rgb rgb here the idea is will display the respective values here so now we'll say this is this one is t label whatever you have defined it at the top you can see at this line now let's come to our style whatever we have configured here this inside the once the button is click what will happen so here I am configuring my different styles here. So text color, okay, first uh, before that result. Now I'll let me just configure the display or text part of it. So L1 dot configure, or you can write config L1 configure text equal to colors dot hex. So now this the on the text part or on the for it the text or the label over that label this will be printed the hex value will be printed. Now now the second thing is we are told that L2 should have the configure text equal to colors dot RGB this value it should take that's fine but what you want is our along with the button now t label and custom label whatever we have picked up that also should change so for that let me just or otherwise here let me pick up this too whatever changes is required i will add to that i have picked up here paste it here i don't know why let me maintain okay so these two again I will change T label now background I am giving here instead of blue I will say color hex so hex code whatever the value I, we are selected that will pick up here color hex is pick up so this is the one so it, it this background it change foreground let it be white all other things I can maintain it now the second one uh, the other one wherever it is foreground i will uh, okay background i will fix it gray i let me just change it to light yellow 
आई एम नॉट असाइनिंग एनीथिंग फोरग्राउंड आई विल चेंज इट टू आवर कलर हेक्स सो दिस फंट कलर विल चेंज एंड द बैकग्राउंड विल बी चेंज टू लाइट ग्रीन now this we'll see how this works so that's all we have done now let's run this okay select a color note that what are the change this this particular this and this what our label 2 we have given that font color should change now let me just put it green click okay so you can see here the font color is changed here the rgb the uh, font co font color is the not changed written as white but background color is changed here we have given light green and the font color now let us again change it to blue or something else deep blue will make it so you can see the here the font color has changed here the background color has changed and already the bottom colors also we have changed it that's all this is how the color chooser will work and we'll further continue in a in the dialog box library to get new new how the windows will open and all those features will study also i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching